good morning. It is day, it's Saturday, uh, I think it's the 9th, um, and I am on day 19, and I was down a pound, which was the pound that I gained yesterday. <laughs> so, all in all, current weight is 136.8, uh, you know, I'm kind of back in my comfort zone, or what I would call my comfort zone, probably the high end of my comfort zone. Um, I've got another, what? two, three pounds to go to get back into my healthy BMI, um, which I'm hoping that will reduce my fat percentage. At the current, currently, my body fat percentage is about 30.1, uh, 30.2. 30 30 um, so I'm hoping that that will reduce it. Um, I'd, I'd like to get into the at least the 20s in my body fat percentage. Um, what else? Right, so... I have a question for everyone, and I don't know if anybody is as obsessive as I am, but I thought I'd ask a question. Now, I've been wearing my um, body media fit body bug thingy majiggy for, God, three years now, since pretty much I got to goal. So I've, I've had it now for three years, and as you can see, uh, it's starting to fall apart. Um, there's a hole in it. You can see the microchips inside and um, I think it's going to die. My problem with it is that I can't get it here in the UK. They've got something similar called the Key Fit, but it doesn't sync to your iPhone, um, and it is wildly expensive. It's about two, three hundred pounds, which is, I don't know, four, five hundred dollars. Um, I got this one, my brother lives in California, so um, I bought it off Amazon, sent it to my brother, he posted it to me, we had some custom issues, but I finally got it. Now, I've been looking at some of the newer wrist-based ones. Um, I quite like this because it does the heat, like the heat flux and the sweat and the galvanisation and all that. But, um, and the only other one that's quite similar that does it is, is, I think it's called the Basis B1. Again, you can only get it in the US, so I'm a bit screwed on that one as well. Um, I don't mind getting my brother to send it to me. My only problem is that if there's something goes wrong with it, I'm stuck, I'm screwed. Like for this, I needed more straps because the Velcro just gave away after about a year. And um, it was an absolute nightmare because I'd get the straps into my brother, he wouldn't get them. And then, oh, it was just such a faff. I ended up going to the place here and it cost me 25 quid for a strap. Um, so I'm wondering who out there uses any type of activity monitor? Um, whether it be Fitbit, Jawbone, uh, the Garmin Vivo Fit. What else is there? Nike Fuel Band. Um, there's quite a few different ones out there now. Um, and I've been doing a lot of research to figure out which ones are best for me. Um, I'd like something that I can wear all the time, ideally for swimming as well. Um, and at least because I love the steam sauna. Um, so, I mean, the minute it's between Garmin, Garmin, is it the Vivo Fit and um, the Fit... Well, I'm not sure about the Fitbit Flex and the... Jawbone. I'm not sure which one is the better one. I tweeted about it this morning and are oh, the amount of people that have come back and said Fitbit, Fitbit, Fitbit all the way. But all the reviews that I've seen says that the Fitbit is, is not as accurate as the Jawbone. So I, oh, I don't know. I need, I need some help. I don't know if any of you are really that obsessive about it or not or whether it's just me. Um, and I've only ever been obsessive since HCD, since losing the weight. I just, I think it's just my way of not controlling it, just being aware, just being aware of how many calories I'm burning, how many calories I should be eating, um, and I think that's, it's like a, the HCG curse, isn't it, it's, you lose the weight, and you're then weighing every day, which you, I mean, I never did, I never even owned a pair of scales until I did HCG. Um, you know, you start tracking calories, you start tracking macros, it's just, it makes you quite obsessive. And do you know what, I think I've realised, because for 2000, most of 2012, and most of 13, actually, most of 13 actually, I decided to go against what I wanted to do, which is track everything, and I stopped tracking. I still wore my body fit media, but I stopped tracking calories, and I put on pot on stone so uh, which is about 14 pounds in the year uh, so yeah it was insane so I think my life is that I do need to track 
Um, and that's, I think, the way that I will maintain. And that's how I'm... Sorry, I'm really rocky. My iPad's quite heavy. Um, it's the way that I maintained uh, the first couple of years is by being obsessive and by tracking. And do you know what? I'm okay with that. I am. I think I'm okay with weighing every day or and tracking my calories and going to the gym and keeping active and seeing how many calories I'm burning to how many I'm using and how many and all of that. So I think that's my life and I'm okay with that. So I think that's where I am. I think I've rambled enough now. I'll let you guys have a lovely weekend. Have a lovely Mother's Day. We already had ours in March. Um, so enjoy. Bye.